I want to be the president of the University of South Wales. I will make Eachum great again. Oh, hi there. I'm Dan, and this is my trail. Now, you've joined me in the heart of my life, the library. And there's nothing more I like than a good book to settle me down. So most of the time I'm here in the radio studios getting some practice. I hope to be a broadcaster one day. So that's all from me. If they say in the industry, that's a wrap. So my name's Claire Vaughan, I work at Chapter Arts Centre in the programming office uh, for the cinema department. We've got a big season of films uh, alongside a new British film called Their Finest. This is a lovely, lovely film, it's about uh, World War II um, and how women in film were sort of uh, weren't part of the film industry landscape, apart from making the tea. It kind of feels strange that in 2017 we're having to try and push these films like why is it in the in World War II there was this lovely influx of women in the industry and then they disappeared yeah. for 70 years <laughs> Of course, this year uh, we've seen Moonlight, which you know won the Oscar, and we we're all very, very excited about. And Moonlight is one of the most magical, romantic, wonderful films. It's a great film. It's a really great film. The next film we've got coming up, up in April is called The Happening, and it's really dire. It's quite boring as well. Um, it's you know these plants and the wind and all sorts of terrible things. And, uh, and so watching it with Bad Film Club, you know, last time they they did this film a few years ago. Um, I was crying in the cinema with laughter. So if you go to chapter.org, um, the website's got everything on there and you can find out extra bits and bobs about the films and the trailers and all sorts of things on there. I tell you what, it's so great to see events like that happen in local communities. It really does bring people together and raise awareness for various charities. Yes, and a beautiful Welsh sunny day for it too. So let's go through the top stories today. So first one on the Times, big, big story this. This is uh, Theresa May activating Article 50. So Brexit is underway, Gareth. Uh, what do you have to say about that? Well, he's going to be in a new King Arthur film. Can you believe this? I can't believe What's this. What's happened though to him? He's beautiful. It's special effects, you know what I mean? Oh. It's, yeah, it's, 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 it's the makeup, really good makeup. He's going to be the new King Arthur film. Uh, Gareth, have you heard? Of, have you heard anything about this? Um, no, but I can't really imagine him being an actor. To be honest, I mean, I you can't believe it either. See him in on the oh, pitch. Oh, he's and beautiful. Whatnot. I wouldn't mind <laughs> watching a film with him. On. I bet you wouldn't, Francesca. <laughs> okay. Over it. So we've also heard from the grapevine that you've also made your own disc tech dance. Do you mind showing us? Yeah, the 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 disc tech dance. The disc tech dance. So come on, that come is, on, you. Uh, let's go. Is, Come on, get up. I'll join you. You can show me some moves. So the Does Billy Joe, do you want to join us? Yeah, yeah, okay. So the, di the disc tech dance just simply consists of... Um, okay. So you kind of got... I can't believe I'm doing this. Go on, Alec. Uh, you are doing it, so let's just... Director Hugh has uh, yeah. stitched me right up here. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah. So, here we go. So we go like this. Right. We go one, two, three... Four, no, left. Come oh, on. Left. <laughs> right. No. right, no, start from the top, start from the top. Right, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is it. Disc tech dance. That's, that's so easy. Well so, done. Hey. That is the, uh, that's Thank the you, dance. Alec. Thank you so much. No it's been great. It's been great to have you, honestly. I, I, I'll stay all day. Okay, well you can stay, you okay. can, yeah, you Thanks. know, show off your disc dances or whatever. Yeah, okay. uh, thank you, Alec, I think those dance skills can't be taught. Oh, They're inherited I'm from sure birth. With Absolutely, my mum's quite the mover. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw it. Um, yeah, so unfortunately, that's all we've got time for, but it's been a proper pleasure. Thank you. Wow, didn't she just look amazing? She looked a million bucks. I know, I wish someone could do my makeup oh, like that. Oh, hold on a second. I'm just getting word from my producer. You are in luck, Darcy, because you? you've got the best stylist and makeup artist <gasps> in Wales. Do you know who it is? Oh my goodness, um, no. It's me. It's me. Dan! Yes, you don't know <laughs> it, but when I'm in my room, I just... I'm a blitzer. I just wow, do it. that like, was a hidden talent. I didn't know really about. Was. On the telly, we'll be back gracing your screens at two o'clock with the likes of lights, camera, reaction, Wales on wheels, and a piece about a charity called Sands. So make sure you're back with us. But that's all we've got time for. Hello.
you're watching On The Telly with me, Francesca Barbieri. And me, Daniel Cullinane. Now we are going to take a look at the top news stories of today with our special guest and journalism student, Gareth Ellis. Everything Definitely. in Cardiff is so safe and yeah. secure, and yet things like this happen. I know. It's shocking. It's just ridiculous, really, isn't and it? And then it's this whole David Beckham thing yeah. as well. Absolutely, yeah. So uh, as you can see there, David Beckham's been through the rings a bit. Now, when I read this story, I thought it was something to do with Kit Kat, so I was a bit confused. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to go with a bit of lip gloss, I think, oh, okay. to really make this lips pop in, you know? Gotta go. Oh, really? Gotta go lips. Oh, great. <laughs> I'm trying to hold this steady. Oh, Amazing, Dan. Amazing, Dan. It's shaking. It's shaking. Oh, wow. It's really tasty. <laughs> Which one do you think? A little bit of a... There we go. There we are, okay. Go what, for what, it. What palette is this, Dan? Oh, this is a really, really, really lovely palette um, I bought in Italy. Dan, this must have got on my eye. On your eye? Oh, wow. Thank you. So that is it for this week, guys. Join us next week where he will be meeting another DJ from the house scene, Dub Steph Dave. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Uh, but just before we leave you, coming up next, we have Lights, Camera, Reaction with Katrin Kozia and Luke Cole. So don't miss out. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>